America. So I know you understand you live here in America, but what is America? What does the term America come from? Amerigo Vespucci. Okay? Another Italian. That's so when you say yourself as an African American, because when we name ourselves, we're supposed to be surnaming ourselves after the names of our fathers. That denotes who we come from in our lineage. But when you say you're an African American, you're saying that you are a lineage of two white men. That's not true. So, I'm gonna show, let me show you this. Where, where we at again? Read that part. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine inheritance. So, if you know now that really you're not African American, that's just something, a term that's been placed on us that was coined by Jesse Jackson in the 1980s, right? If you now know that we're not African American, so then what are we? Have you ever thought why all the black people or Hispanic people feel the ghetto in any city, major city you go through in America? Have you ever thought about that? You never thought about that? How come most black people are always geared to rap or geared to sports, okay? Why are we geared to those things like that? Or why do we geared to the streets? Have you ever thought about that? Huh? By influence, okay. So why do we glorify the hood. Why do you think that? You're not sure. I'm going to show you something. Isaiah 1 and 3. I'm going to show you another sign. God got you written right here in the Bible. Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. So this brother said he never thought about it, right? Let's go to the Bible and see if he is in there. You got it? The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So an ox is a simple animal, right? It's a big animal, but very simple, right? They're docile. They're very submissive. Whatever you tell it to do, it does it. Even the ass going into a donkey. It's a very simple and dumb animal, right? But it, it says, read that part again. The ox knows his owner, yet he knows who owns him, right? The ass is master's crib. You, there's a saying out there in the world, if you take a donkey 25 miles away from where his home is, it, although it's a very simple animal, I guarantee you he'll be able to find his way back. So the ass, he knows there's master's crib. He knows where his land is at, where, where he gets his sources, his resources from, right? But Israel do not know. The Bible says Israel don't know. That's why there's a need for a sign and something to wonder. But even though that these uh, curses are on us for signs and for us to wonder about them, what is uh, the common reaction of our people? My people do not consider. What? Do not consider. That's you. You just you just fulfill prophecy. That's how we know that we're God's chosen people. We can go through all of these amazing conditions right here, right? And we never wonder how come we are always the ones that's getting gunned down. How come it's always our children that's being uh that's getting gunned down in the streets? How come it's always our people that's being strung out on drugs? How come homosexuality is always being pushed on us? How come we are the bottom of the, the, the bottom standard of when it comes to a society? But when we think of anything that's bougie, so to speak, we think about white people, as if black people can't have nothing nice. Why do we think like that? Right? Those are the things that we, we don't consider those things. Black people feel through all ghettos and neighborhoods, all the ghetto hood, the hoods of the uh, give me that Isaiah 51 and 20. Let me show you something really quick. You see those those people out there? You around this area? You live around here, right? What about you, Jonathan? You live around here? Do you see those people across the street that's playing that music? What are they usually doing? You don't know what they be doing. What you think they doing? They chilling and doing what? Congregate. They're usually drinking, right? They, they be out there just about every day drinking, right there in the same spot, right? You don't want to admit it. Don't be scared, man. Come on, watch this. Let me show you something. The book of Isaiah 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. God says his sons have fainted. You know what? They've lost consciousness. They've lost a sense of mind. All right, come on. They lie in the head of the street. I read. In the head of the street. God's sons right now. Look at them. You got brothers at the heads of the streets. 
Look at him. If you look with the, that bustles out the way, you'll see black people just chilling right there. What is a black man's commonplace on the corner? Back then, they used to, the white folks used to call us porch monkeys. You know why they come to, came off that term? Because black people were common to sit out on their front porch and just drink all day. Now, the black man has moved from his front porch to the hedge of the corners. And they sit there and they drink all day. That's where that stereotype comes from. Why? Because we've been destroyed here in America. All right? We've been oppressed so long, we have nothing to do. We see, we don't know what's ahead of us. We don't know where we came from. Right? And all we think we can do is just spend the rest of our lives right here. You know what? This is all I need. Just give me my beer. Give me a nice little warm day. Some nice good shine. I sit in the shade and I'm chilling. That's all I need. What did the Bible say? As a wild bull on the top. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the street. Hey sis, isn't it common that the black man typically, especially young black men, right? Isn't it common that they lie at the heads of all the streets? Don't they usually hold? Ain't it a saying that, hey, I'm on the block. We hold on the block. I'm on this corner. Meet me over here. Yeah. Did you know that that was in the Bible? No, I didn't know you didn't know that? Come listen, listen to this. Watch this. Watch this. Thy sons have faded. So God says that his people don't go nowhere, Jonathan. Don't go nowhere, man. I'm still dealing with you. God says that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just catching, bringing it up to speed. That's all. So God says that his sons have fainted. You know what? They lost consciousness, right? They lost their mind. Ain't it? Ain't, what do they call the killings? What's the term we give it? The killings here in Chicago. Murder, well, of course it's murder, but they're senseless murders, right? What did the Bible say? Thy sons have faded, meaning they have become senseless. Come on. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. And the, those brothers, those same young brothers at the heads of all those streets, what are they? Violent brothers, right? You disrespect them, what they're ready to do. They're ready to pop off for you, right? They're ready to, they, they ready to pull a gun on you or they're ready to fight. It was just a fight over there maybe an hour ago. Right there on the heads of the street. Like wild bulls in a net. You put a, a bull in a net, what's it going to do? It's going to fuck. It's going to do whatever it can to be free. Come on. They are full of fury of the Lord. The rebuke of thy God. All of this is the rebuke of our God or the curses of God, which are signs to us that we are the children of God. Why? Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm going to show you why. The rebuke of our God. All of this is the rebuke of our God. Come on. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself. So he says, Jeremiah, you, even yourself, come on, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. What's your nationality? He said a mixture of few things, like what? You don't want to disclose it right now, you ashamed? So why, why you don't want to disclose it? Jonathan, what's your nationality? African American. Okay, why you call yourself an African American? What does that mean? You don't know. Huh? So, black is a color. What does African American mean? You said a person of color in America. Where does the term African come from? as a continent, not a country. Africa, okay. Did you know that Africa was actually named by a white man? It was named after a white man. He was a Roman general. His name is Scipius Africanus. He conquered that land in the Punic Wars and they named that, man, that land after him. That's what the term Africa comes from. America. So I know you understand you live here in America, but what is America? What does the term America come from? Amerigo Vespucci, okay, another Italian. That's so when you say yourself as an African American, because when we name ourselves, we're supposed to be surnaming ourselves after the names of our fathers. That denotes who we come from in our lineage. But when you say you're an African American, you're saying that you are a lineage of two white men. That's not true. So, let me show, let me show you this. Where, where are we at again? Read that part. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So if you know now that really you're not African American, that's just something, a term that's been placed on us that was coined by Jesse Jackson in the 1980s, right? If you now know that we're not African American, so then what are we? 
If that's not who, what, truly what we are, what are we? You don't know. Read that part again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. What's the her heritage that God gave us? Genesis 32, I believe it's 27 or 28. What's the heritage? What's the name that God gave us? I'm going to show you. So that right there, all I'm showing you is that you are you fit the description of the book. The people of the book. God's chosen people. But the reason why we don't know who where we are truly is because we broke God's commandments. What we are out here to show you is to give you back your heritage, give you back your name, and give you back God's commandments. Right. Breathe life back into your soul. That way we can get up out of these conditions. That way we can get out of America because America is still our, the land of our captivity. We are still captives here. Read that. The book of Genesis 32 and 28. And he said, the, the name shall be called no more. Verse 27. Verse 27. And he said unto him, what is thy name? So Jacob right here, he was wrestling with an angel. Okay? And the angel prevailed against him, right? So he says, what's your name? And he said, Jacob. So Jacob, Jacob was the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. So he said, my name is Jacob, right? Come on. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, but Israel. This is God giving us heritage right here. This is the name that he gave us, not African-American, not Haitian, not West Indian black. He gave you the name Israel, which means what? For as a prince that has power with God. Because thou art a prince that has power with God. You know what that means, bro? Meaning you are a son of God. You are you have power here on this earth. This whole earth was created for you. You understand that? That's that's what's powerful about this book. That's what's powerful about your name. That's about that's what's powerful about what you are. But we lost it for breaking God's commandments. So what are we out here for? Acts 3. Nice. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Read that. The book of Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye for and be converted. So the Bible commands us to repent. You said you believe in the Bible, right? What does it mean to repent? What does it mean to repent? Forgiveness? No, not necessarily. That's a part of repentance, but that's not what it means to repent. Give me uh, Ezekiel 14, verse 6. I'm going to show you what the Bible says to repent means, alright? Watch this. The book of Ezekiel 14 and verse 6. Therefore, say, say it unto God. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, repent, but repent. So God commands us to repent. Repentance has been something that God has been teaching us or the message for years, even before Christ. Come on. And turn yourself from your idol. So the, the word repent means to turn away. You know what? Specifically from sin. All right? It's going to say that. First it mentioned idols, right? Read on. And turn away your faces from all abominations. So, it says, turn your face away from your idols and all abominations. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is.